If you hike in the desert like I do, or you've been off-roading north at Glamis, you've probably seen signs that say, unexploded ordnance, no trespass. The Chocolate Mountain Aerial Gunnery Range is approximately 50 miles long and 20 miles wide. It's used by the U.S. Navy and the Marine Corps for aerial bombing and live fire weapons practice. Needless to say, it is completely closed to the public. The Chocolate Mountains Range provides a unique opportunity for air combat maneuvering and tactics, air-to-air -air gunnery, airborne laser systems operations and close air support, air-to-ground bombing, strafing, and rocketry, and it also supports ground training that includes air defense, air control, communications, demolition operations, as well as the support of small arms and artillery. Meanwhile, on the eastern side, not far from Glamis, there's something less exciting, but much more glamorous. The Mesquite Gold Mine, one of America's largest. Gold was first discovered in the Chocolate Mountains in 1876 by Felizaro Pada, and dry washing of low-grade ores continued for almost a hundred years. Then, from 1857 to 1980, Dick and Anna Singer mined, made studies, and then sold their findings to Goldfields Mining Corporation. Goldfields spent $70 million in exploration, development, and construction, then began full-scale production in March 1986. By 1992, they reached their highest ever yield, 208,000 ounces of gold, which at retail value today would be worth $370 million. But at that rate of production, they estimated that the mine would be exhausted by 1999. But that was wrong. Mining operations have continued and today it's being operated by a Canadian company called Equinox Gold. <laughs> 